Welcome to video three on the person minder. Here again is the library area and every entry you put into the person minder then will show here. And as a reminder this is the column bar and these columns represent the data entry fields in the person minder. Now to bring up a new screen make sure the icon is highlighted. Click on new and you'll be taken to the uh, to the data entry area. Now uh, just as before you can associate an image with the contact. Now you simply right click, click load, go to your image area, select an image, and upload. The contact information screen uh, gives you a variety of data entry fields. You can list your contact type, the key organization, the individual's first, middle, and last name. You have an address field, a phone and fax field, personal email field, a marital status drop-down box. There's also a gen gender info drop-down menu. And you can list the individual's birthday. This is a simple date editor. and you manipulate it by using the arrows. Months. Choose your date and there is your birthday. Last we have uh, another tabbed menu inside the large tab menu. And you have a space for family information and then on the other tab you can enter any notes, comments, and observations that may be relevant to you. The address fields and the phone and fax work just as described before. You click on the arrow and enter information just as uh, I demonstrated in the, the video on the organization minder. Here you can enter online information. You can enter the website, another email, and these here are text editors for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter IDs, and then another box for um, more notes, observations, comments, and so forth uh, pertaining to uh, the online presence of your contact. The website is active. And it will allow you to click out and link directly to, that, that, uh, to the website. The email is also active. and will link directly to your email client. The picture gallery works uh, just as described earlier. You click on the add, the green add icon, and here you see the sort of the whole, what is essentially a holding tank or holding box, and there are already images entered. To select a new image, click on new, and it will take you to the image area. Right click, go to load and select an image and upload and there it is and then we'll save and there's going to be an, an alert ding so beware we save the changes and here is our image and we can preview it here and notice the other images Okay, and uh, so we'll select this image and one other. We click OK. And notice that we now have our entries in our picture gallery library area. Documents and files works the same way. Click on the green add icon and you'll notice here in our holding area, our holding box, we have some documents listed. And this is documents and files. And as you may have noticed in the image that there was a, a JPG, an image file. Um, let's see, I'll just choose some other file here. I have all my text files already listed. Um, here we go. Let's do the laundry elf. And we'll save. And there, there you see the image. 
And just as before, you select the image you want to put into the library area, click OK, and you see that it's saved into the Documents and Files library. Coming back to the main contact type, let's enter, a, uh, let's enter some data into some of the fields. Okay, that's enough. And now we'll we'll close out. Uh, we'll save. In this case, I will save and close. Although you could simply save and continue working, or save and generate a new screen. And here you see the name of our contact listed in the library, as well as the contact type widget and the key organization widget incorporated. And that ends the person minder video. Next we'll go on to the schedule master.